Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be working with the 32 gigabyte retro gaming image from Mad Little Pixel, and we're already off to a good start. He has the controls uh, and emulation starting, so this is a very friendly image so far. That right when you boot up, as long as you have your controller plugged in, it should recognize it. And the first thing you do is you set up your control. So as you can see, I can move through these menus now, no problem. I don't have to do anything. Um, if you are running your sound for 3.5, you might want to change that in RetroPie under sound. The other thing is to check your sound settings. Okay, mine's at 100% as well. Um, so all this is all set up. Uh, let's just see what this uh, image has on it. Let's start with Scum VM. Um, there's some games here as well. Wow, that's loud. And uh, you'll be able to see that a lot better when we go into track mode shortly. We have SG-1000, 68 games, Vetrix. 20 games, Odyssey 2, 140, Sinclair, 384, Amiga, 4,280. Yeah, that'll uh, keep you busy for a little while. Okay, not sure on those. I think those might be in a track mode. Um, same with these 12. There's only one there, but I think when you go into track mode, we're going to be able to see that. Atari 2600, 648 games, 52 hundo, 72, 78 hundo, 59, Commodore 64, 2231. Uh, everyone makes fun of how I say this word, but you know, you know the right word. I'll just let you say it in your head. 134 games. Uh, I'm going to call it Col Col. Col Col Vision. Okay, uh, Daphne, I believe there's just one game on here. Space Ace. Jesus, my volume's loud. No Dreamcast. In television, 130. As Cody, that comes pre-installed on the emulation station. It's nothing, nothing out of the norm. Sega Master System, 281. MSX, 567. MSX2, 84. NES, 791. MS-DOS, I don't believe there's anything. Yep, and then Pixel. MSOS and Pixel, a lot of that and ports, you know, that just comes stock on the um, on the Motion Blue, so you either got to remove it um, or use it. Okay, once you're done with that, I mean, that's pretty much everything. Um, this is Motion Blue, so it's the same as all the other videos, uh, you know, that I've been releasing recently. So it has everything. I'm not really going to go into the file system or anything like that because it's all the same, but this is where you set up a Bluetooth controller or add new emulators or anything like that in RetroPie setup, or if you want to change out your splash screen. But let's go ahead, go into a track mode. All right, let's just check out the menus really quick once this loads up. Okay, so you got the track mode menu. Um, if you want to set up your controls, it's the upper left trigger. And um, looks like up and down is all set up. Display menu is D if you have a keyboard plugged in, configure. You can also use a uh, tab on a keyboard. Uh, you might want to add maybe a favorite button on here. You know, I, I like my upper right hand trigger. That way, you know, I don't need a keyboard. Um, so far, we've been doing this all without keyboards. And uh, if you want to change any other controls, you could do it there. I think my A and B are set up now. I just love this image is really like, look at this. It just scrolls so easy. Um, it's a really uh, optimized image. Let's see if there's any favorites in here to begin with. Okay, yeah. So Pitfall and Mario 3 come in there uh, stock, but uh, you can remove those very easily in a track mode set. Okay, ask me. We should just have the one game. Space Ace. Space Ace, Defender of Justice, Truth. Yep. And then we got Atari 2600. We got videos. We got game art. We got the information on the bottom. Very good stuff. I like how ET's on the front here, just trolling you. Um, good stuff. Atari 5200. Again, we got box art. We got the information on the bottom. We have got snap of videos. Good stuff. Miss Pac-Man. 7800. And I can also, instead of going back to the main menu, I can just go right to left here. So if I hit right, I should go into the next uh, gaming system. Okay. 
Gorf, Guest Buster. And you can hard scroll here. And have I let go? Star Wars Entertainment. I bet this is like pretty revolutionary for the time. Okay. So we go right again. Now we're in Vetrex. You can hard scroll. I mean, look at all these retro games. So simple. So not all the snaps work, but, you know, there's a good amount. Nintendo, I mean, that's pretty standard on every image. I imagine all the snaps and all the artwork work, just because it's pretty standard. Same with Sega Master System. Okay. Sega SG-1000. I mean, this is pretty complete. Okay, so we're missing some uh, titles on the left, some snaps. So I'd say this system has the most missing from it. Commodore 64. Some snaps missing. Has the box art though. There we go. It's here. I love that engine noise, right? So, I mean, the main appeal with the track mode is that, uh, so no artwork at all for Amiga. Amiga, no artwork, no videos. It's like, you you know, you have this image, and you just, you have so much to choose from. Uh, especially if you grew up on these games, you know, to be, for me, like, honestly, a lot of these games I would never play. Just because they're a little too old for me. Uh, but they still have value and nostalgia and like, you know, I could, I could, I could get into some of them. Some of them are a little, a little too, uh, like this airplane. I, uh, I don't know if I have the patience for this. Okay. But, you know, there's other games that look fun. I can get into this. A little bit of, uh, if it goes faster. Oh, Bubbles, good game. The Scum the Amiga Goblins, Goblins 3, Maniac Mansion, Fascination. Okay, so about five or six games. I mean, but it doesn't look at that. It has full throttle on there. That's a tease. But I know that just comes stock of the image. Uh, Sinclair. So we've got um, title art on the left, but no box art, no snaps. Back to track mode setup, favorites, back to back. So there you have it. We went through each system. You can see all the systems here. Did we go to MSX and MSX2? Oh, yeah. Scum, Sinclair, so nice. Um, let's just do a couple of, uh... I don't think I've ever played this before. So let's watch, play some Home Alone here. Man, they got the rights to have Macaulay Token in here. This is it. See, that doesn't look like a Macaulay Token now. It's like they had two different actors, one for the cutscenes and one for the intro. Marv, what a great night we had. And lastly, there'll be a torrent link in the description below. You're just going to put that in a uTorrent or a BitTorrent and then uh, download it. It comes as an IMG file. I did have to, uh, it was a read only. So what I did was when I got it, um, I had to delete the torrent link temporarily so I could so it wasn't being used by any other programs and then I had to go to properties and it was a read-only file so I had to click this it was like this to start you click you click it to unclick hit apply and then you're done okay and then then you want to just run your SD format or format your SD card just whatever don't worry about XFAT or FAT32 just use the ones that uh, I use in all my videos format it and then you're gonna run Win32 Win32 is just a um, mounting program run as administrator Go ahead and find your device, 
your SD micro SD card, hit this folder here, and then you're going to locate the MLP retro consoles.img. As far as the file size, you want to check this before you go out and you buy a 32 or before you download the image, make sure you have a 32. It's going to be 29.5 gigabytes at 31 billion 724 million 666 880 bytes. Yes, this one's probably satanic, so be careful with it. Got a lot, a lot of retro systems on here. It's a 32 gig, so I mean, to really get this collection, have it. You know, it'd be nice that if for me, what I would do is I would have one of, the, one of my 32s and just have this image permanently burned on it because the 32 is so cheap and just have it sitting around and you have your, like, you'll have your retro image and then maybe you have like another 32 with like a more modern day image, which has your N64 and your Super Nintendo and your PlayStation on it. So between the two, you just switch out because you're either in a retro mood or you're in maybe like a newer game mood. There's some missing artwork and things like that, but I mean, you can, beggars can't be choosers, I mean. So I hope this review helps. There'll be some links in the description both to check out Mad Pixels video, the download, all that good stuff. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. If you like what I do, subscribe to the channel. And until next time.